back to worship him. I tell you, church, God's people, they better not worship in God enough. Amen. I know it's not all in a shout. It's not up, up jumping up and down. But church, let me tell you something. I think when we come to church or we get to his presence, we ought to worship him regardless. Plus, regardless Amen. who people's around, who, or who's around, we ought to worship him and praise him. Can I hear that, man? Oh, glory to God. God tells us to do that. Glory to God. Amen. If you have your Bibles tonight, Turn with me to Luke chapter 8, starting at verse 29. Mm. Amen. Luke chapter 8, verse 29. Now I was thinking, church, like Brother Tony said, Jesus paid a great price for us. Amen. Yes, I, mean, he, I mean, he paid a price. He owed, well, we owed a debt we couldn't pay. <laughs> and, and you know what, church? Now, See, but I know we ought to all rejoice when, when people when we get saved. But you know what, church? It seems like when a person, amen, that, that, that is, uh, is an outlaw and everything else, the worst person in the world, and when God saves him or her, they, they just seem like they, they have more love for Jesus than somebody just, just come, amen, and just been in church or whatever all their life. And, they were, good, they were good people, but they weren't saved, Brother Mars. Amen. Amen. And it seemed like the people that were the worst, they seemed like they worship Jesus the most. Can I hear an amen? amen. I guess they appreciate what God has done for them. Amen. And church, I tell you, I know I wasn't an outlaw, but I tell you one thing, church, I thank God for Him saving me. Yes, amen. Oh, I tell you, I thank God He saved me, made me whole. Glory to God. And church, me tell you, He put something down inside of me that I wanted to tell the world. And not only tell the world, amen, but show the world. Yes, Can I hear an amen? Amen. amen. Now, look, this is what it's all about. This man was a lunatic. I mean, church, this man was possessed by the devil. And I'm here to tell you, I believe, amen, that he really appreciated Jesus. Yes. Amen. He wanted to follow Jesus. Yes. This is the only place in the Bible I recognize that I've read so far that Jesus told him to, amen, he couldn't follow him, to go back. Amen. To go back and to show their, his family and show those that are around him Amen, what God has done. Amen. That's what I want to preach on tonight. Amen, God tells us, amen, to show the world and show them our love was a negative thing, what he has done for you. Can I hear an amen? amen. Now the Bible says in verse 29, for he hath commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For all the times it hath called him, and he was kept bound with chains and fritters and and, and, and he broke the bands and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was there a herd of many swines feeding up on the mountains. And they besought him that he would suffer them to enter in, into them, and he suffered them. Then went the devils out of the man and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down steep place to a steep place into the lake and were choked. And when they that fed, fed, fed them saw that was done, they fled and went and told him was what was done in the city and in the country. Boy, I tell you, good news sometimes scattered. Yeah. But you know what, church? This was bad news. And see, like bad news scattered more than good news. Can I hear an amen? Yeah. They were really, these people were upset, Brother Tony, because this was their livelihood. Yeah. This is where, I mean, this is where they made their money at and everything. And Jesus come and upset the car. Sometimes Jesus will come along and upset some cars. Can I hear an amen? Yeah. And the Bible teaches us that they wanted Jesus to leave because he was one. Because of what he's done. Church, I don't want Jesus to leave. Can I hear an amen? amen. Oh, give the Lord a hand clap, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in verse 38. Well, let's go up to verse 37. And the whole multitude of the country of the Gagans ran about besought him to depart from them. For they were taken with great fear, and he went up into the ship and returned back again. Now the man out of whom the devils were departed besought him 
that it might be with him, that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to thy own house. Now this is what it says. And show how great things God has done unto thee. And he went his way and published throughout the whole city how great things Jesus has done. Amen for unto uh, him. Church, I believe with all my heart, I believe Christian people, they are coming up short. Can amen. I hear amen? amen. I mean, church, and we ought to be telling, amen, all the people what God has done for, you know what, church? We just got to tell people what they've done for us. Yes. Are you missing what amen. I'm saying, church? And church, I thank God one thing. I believe that we ought to go and show them. Now, church, a lot of people have got a lot of good talk, but they don't have the good walk. Can I hear an amen? amen. See, God wants us not only talk a good thing, but he wants us to walk a good thing. Because if you're walking, church, you are showing what Jesus wants you to show. Can I hear an amen? amen. And we need to show the world, amen, what Jesus has done, amen, to us. I thank God, church, Jesus has changed me. We sing that song a lot of times. I'm walking with Jesus and I'm talking with Jesus yes. all along the way. What are you trying to say? I want people to see me walking yes. with Jesus and talking oh. with Jesus. And church, I believe, church, if we we'll do that, we can change the whole world. And church, I thank God Jesus is still doing the same thing today. He's still saving. And yes. church, I think if you're here tonight and, and you don't have Jesus, I believe God will save you and change you and you'll have the same joy and you'll have the same testimony that this man had. Amen. 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 I mean, he wanted to tell the world, amen, what Jesus had done for him. I mean, this man was a lunatic. He was possessed with the devil and everything else. And church, I believe he didn't have no problem telling, amen, everybody about Jesus and what Jesus has done. Because church, Jesus booted, amen, the devil out and amen, put the, uh, Jesus back in him. And church, he was a changed person. You can't change by yourself. I said you can't change by yourself. And you can't walk, amen, if you don't have Jesus. Because he, God, the Bible says that if we have Jesus in us, we will be a different creatures and we'll be different people. Amen. Church, I don't know about you, but I will show the world, amen, what Jesus had done for me. Amen. Like I said, I wasn't an outlaw. I mean, I didn't do a whole lot of bad things, but I was lost. Yeah. But you know what, church? I still had an impact on people. You have an impact on people whether you realize it or not. They said the average person had at least 10 people watching their lives every day. And church, like I said, some people talk a good talk, but they don't walk the walk. Amen. And church, this does more harm to God, amen, if you just keep your mouth shut and don't say nothing at all. Can I hear that, amen? amen? But church, I thank God we can say that so I'm walking with Jesus and I'm talking with Jesus. And I can show Jesus that he lives with this yeah. family. For God has saved me and delivered me and invited his son. And he gave me the power to become sons and daughters of God. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Go and show what Jesus has done for you. Amen. And I was thinking today, amen, what, what would we do without Jesus? What would you do without Jesus? I don't see how the world, amen, could live without Jesus. I believe the devil has got them blind and got them possessed, amen, that they can't see what the good thing that Jesus, amen, has will do for them. In fact, the, the one place I think the psalmist said, come and taste Jesus. I'm here to tell you, if you ever taste Jesus, you'll, you'll fall in love with him. I see he's better than honey. He's, he's better than soup, beans, and cornbread. I, I mean, church, he, he's the best thing that you could ever have and the best thing that you could ever taste, and that's Jesus going to God. Oh, hallelujah. But we've got to show the world Amen. Like I said many times, where I worked at, and I worked with Brother Kozak, and I used to have a big old belt. It says, Saved by Grace. I just love it because of what it said. And it was a little bit of testimony, but church, let me tell you something. I, I represented that belt buckle. I wanted the people to know I was saved by grace and I love the Lord and I will walk the best way I can for the Lord. Yes. It's amazing. You can go, have you ever seen that sign on the back of a bumper sticker say, if you love Jesus, honk. 
Yeah. Have you ever seen people hoax? Uh, Sometimes they give the wrong finger. Can I hear that, amen? <laughs> if you love Jesus, hoax. You be sitting there around that hoax, and then, amen, and all what's that is bad. They forget about that little sticker back there. See, a lot of people forget about Jesus and what he's done for them, and they don't show Jesus. Oh, they got a good bumper sticker, and they got a good tone, but they don't have the wall. They trust me, they can show the work, and the devil we got something. Amen. We need to show what God has done for us. For me. Amen. And I was thinking today. You know, I, I love to feel God's spirit. How many love to feel God's spirit? I love, I love the talk in tongues. And I love the interpretation of tongues. I love prophecy. I love all that stuff. You know what, church? But that doesn't tell you how spiritual you are. Can I hear an amen? I said, can, you, can I say it? Hear an amen. amen? You know what really makes you really spiritual? You show your life. Amen. When God puts the Holy Ghost in you, and you listen to what I'm saying, and, and the Bible says the Holy Ghost will cause you to live right. I mean, you, got, you, you love your neighbor. You love your, you love your church. You love everybody. Amen. Like that song says, I, what that song, Old Time Religion. I tell you, when I got saved full of the Holy Ghost, he gave me that old time religion. I love everybody. I tell you, I you love me. And you walk right. And it makes you talk right. Amen. Because I want to show the world that God has filled me, sanctified me, and saved me, and filled me with the Holy Ghost. Amen. They, they can tell by your life. I said they can tell by your life, they can tell by your walk. Yes. I want to walk with Jesus and talk with Jesus and let the show the world praise God. I've got Jesus in me. Glory to God. Yes. Yes. Man. Yes. My brother, my brother, what says somebody you know, about peace and everything? I'm going to tell you, you get filled with the Holy Ghost that God gave you. Uh, Amen. You. you talk about Ooh, righteous. Amen. 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 You know what? I've been studying about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Now, one thing about the, the Holy Ghost will two, two, do two things. And that's why a lot of people don't like the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Bible says that it, 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 it led Jesus into the world. I mean, the Holy Ghost led Jesus yeah. everywhere he went. He didn't just walk to the wells of, of Samaritan. Amen. With that, with that one Jew there, with that Samaritan there. He was led there. Right. He wasn't mad there that he was driven. He said one thing, he said, he was driven by the Holy Spirit, amen, into the wilderness. Sometimes God will drive you. He drives me a lot of times, and he probably drives you a lot, because when you don't want to do something, that's the unction of the Holy Ghost. Right. He won't let you have no peace. I said, he wants you to have no peace. Right. Amen. He wants you to have no joy. And he'll just keep telling to you that he'll drive you to what he what you're supposed to do. Did I hear that? Oh, I thank God for the Holy Ghost. And church, I will, I will think I'm not ashamed of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I know that this some of the Pentecostal people is down trying the Holy Ghost and everything else, but the Holy Ghost is still real and talking in tongues is still real and shouting is real. Are you listening to what I'm saying, church? No, the Holy Ghost will cause that to happen. The devil has counter, you know, the devil tried to do counterfeit anyway. Right. Yeah. But he'll cause you to walk in the fullness of God. Yeah. And he'll give you a relationship <laughs> with Jesus. And he'll cause you, he'll, he'll make you walk. He'll make you do good. He'll make you live right. Or he'll, he'll aggravate you to death until you do something. Amen. 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 He knows how to convict. Yes, he does. And he knows how to convince. <laughs> And he knows how to persuade. Can I hear an amen? amen. Oh, thank God for that. Amen. And we need to tell the world, show the world that when you're walking in peace, the Bible says you're walking righteous. That's what the kingdom of God is. Amen. Is righteous peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. He didn't say Holy Spirit. He said Holy Ghost. Yes. That means God will give you a little extra boost and you can walk better, talk better, and live better and have walking righteous better. Can I hear that, man? See, we wish we have this old natural body of ours. Yes. Amen. This old man. Some people say this old man don't live here anymore. I've seen a lot of Christians, that old man still lives in it. Can I hear that, man? Come on. I said, they still let that old man live there. Oh, glory to God. 
Yeah. You know what? If you get up the Holy Ghost and you get filled up with it, he can boot that old man out. Yeah. 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 That's a whole night to flesh. Glory to Give him on the hand clap, church. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to show the world I'm walking in God's kingdom, church. Yes. Yes. We don't see enough of it. Right. I mean, I, I, I just sold sometimes. This sister might be watching some of the news or some people and everything. And, and they, they act so righteous mm -hmm. and so good and, and so lovable. I mean, they, they almost conceive you. One minute they're talking about how good Jesus is and what Jesus has done for them. And the next, next minute they're talking about booze and everything else. Church, let me tell you something. When God saved me, uh, he saved me from alcohol and drugs. Amen. Are you missing what I'm saying? Now, church, I didn't quit drinking. I just changed bread. It's called the Holy. It wasn't old turkey, no bread, Dad. It's called the Holy Ghost. Now, hear me, man. Oh, glory to God. But they talk, so, they talk so sweet and everything, and they're having convinced. Well, praise God. I, I love that spirit about them and, and, and everything. And, and when they start talking about that, then that spirit just dies in you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See, I want to show, the, show what God has done for me. I want to walk right. Yeah. I want to walk, amen, where I can bless other people and be blessed. Right. Yeah. And that's what God has done for me, and he'll do it for you. Yes, yeah, amen. He'll amen. give you Jesus. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Thank God for the Holy Ghost because he called me to walk right. Oh, I, I'm still in the natural, and sometimes I, I have to hit the all-time altar. Yes, oh, this is what I'm saying. Yes. That anger still rises up sometimes. That flesh rises up sometimes. And sometimes you have, you have some bad thoughts up here. Amen. That old, that old human thought, that old nature thought. Amen. When you used to, you take somebody and hit them in the head with a ball bat, but you can't do it now. You gotta lay hands on them and pray for them. Now hear that man. I'll give them on the hand clap, church. I want people to see that I'm walking in God's kingdom. When you're walking in God's kingdom, it's not full of of uh, adultery and everything else. He said that those walking that kind of kingdom, they're not going to be in heaven. Amen. 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 Oh, praise the Lord. It's getting quiet here now. I feel the Lord here tonight. <laughs> yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. So this man, brother Mark, he was full of the devil. Yeah. Yes, he was. I mean, God delivered him. Six yeah. I mean, he had demons in him, a legion in him. Yeah. But when God saves you, or in this way, I he delivered from all the demons and everything else. Because the Bible said that when, you, when Jesus comes in, that old body, this old temple of ours, he said he moves the devil and the demons and everything else. And he comes and the Holy Ghost lives there and Jesus lives there. And we've got to get the word and everything else in our temple. Amen. Because when the devil comes back, he finds it in me, he's going to come back. And so, glory, glory, I'm going to go get me seven more. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He goes back there seven more. Have you ever seen a backslide? Some people say you can't backslide. Now, don't yes, tell me you can. can't. Well, I've seen people backslide, and I tell you they're demons. Worst yeah. Hey, man, yeah. they're demons. Yeah. You say, I wonder why, they're, wonder why they're so mean. Well, read your Bible. The Bible says that he goes back and gets seven more demons. Yeah. Hey, man, pretty soon them seven gets seven more. Mm -hmm. I tell you, we, we need to walk with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Church. Yes. Hey, man. And we need to show, amen, we trust God. Amen. That's hard to do sometimes, church. Amen. Oh, when everything is going good, yep. amen, you got your insurance card, you got your real phone and money in it, and everything's going pretty good and up and over and everything. Oh, you miss what I'm saying. You don't have no valleys, you don't have no afflictions. You see, God will, let the, God will get the devil to let up a little bit for a while. You think everything's going good. Praise God. I'm living good. God is blessing me. I tell you, I just can't hardly stand it. Well, look out. Because when you when the devil comes, he's going to come just, amen. He didn't say where or when. He said when the devil comes. It means he's going to come like a roaring lion, church. And I'm here to tell you, we got to be ready. we got to trust God. That's right. Sister Malam, I said it before. I'm going to say it again. Look out there. When I lost my job at Sword Paper Company, 
And I was working with you. Probably some of you have lost jobs and everything else. Right. Amen. Amen. Your world's been turned upside down. Amen. Sickness Amen. and everything else. What right. am I going to do and everything? You know what? I've read the Psalms. If you get down depressed, you think you're the end of the world, and they just can open up the book of Psalms. Amen. I guarantee God will speak to you. Yes. The Holy Ghost will bring things out. Yes, it will. He said, God said, trust in me. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 That's what I started to do. Then I read in the Old Testament two words said, he told Solomon, he said, now, even though that the temple is destroyed, amen, and, and, and the temple's not here anymore, and I'm not here, and you're not here anymore. It don't make a difference where you're at, where the devil's got you. And I, I want to say where God has got you, because God had them where they wanted him. Amen? He had been Babylon. So I found me an old-time altar. Yeah. I couldn't get him to my closet. He said, get to the closet and pray. <laughs> the sister Michael had all them shoes, and I got shoes. And, <laughs> and we got a small closet for a small house, you know. Yeah. I couldn't get in the closet. But I went to my bedroom. The Bible says, and I, well, I wonder which way is Jerusalem. <laughs> Amen. So I just look out the window. I said, now, God, I'm not, I can't look toward you, but I know one thing. I can look to your son, Jesus. Amen. He said, look out to Jesus to offer to finish your faith. And so I began to pray and everything. And God let me know he was going to take care of me. He got, he'll take care of your family. I know when he, I walk with him and talk with him. And church, I pay my tithes. I mean, he, might, he might drop down to nothing, but I still pay my tithes and God still bless me. What are you trying to say? I walk with God and talk with God and know what God told me to do. I went from big paying job to $9 an hour. You talk about a low blow. Amen. That's when I first started out, most of the places. I told that one person who I worked with, he said, I, I, I used to pay more income taxes than you paid me all week. <laughs> and I did. I paid more income taxes than what, what they paid me. But do I, I kept right on and going. And I had to suffer and everything, too. That's right. I mean, I worked three hours of a morning and three hours of night. I'd get up at 4.30 or something like that, have breakfast. Worked about 10 o'clock, then and always South Lebanon. Worked over for about four or five years driving that bus. And I had to sleep in my little old truck. I lay there, <coughs> had a couple of blanks and everything, and I suffered like that for nine years. I still serve God, and I still trusted God. I still live for God. Because church, God will bless you. Yes. I said, if you do walk with God and talk with God and do what he tells you, he will bless you. But Amen. sometimes he will test you. Amen. He was going to test old Pastor Maggard and Sister Maggard. What are we going to do what he wants us to do? Yes. Oh, give the Lord a hand clap. Yes. At that time, I was, uh, I was a pastor here. Right. Been working for about two or three years and lost a job. So uh, thank God for this for the church because if that been for them I would have had no, no in church. Because they paid my that's what they paid me, they paid my my in church. Amen. 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 And I will be sometimes down. Did you know you're gonna get down? Yes. I said you're gonna get down. Amen. That's right. Sometimes you worry a little bit. Uh -huh. But you know what? God the Holy Spirit said you trust me. Yes. Amen. You trust me. I still trust in God. I tell you, if you trust God, He will bless you. I don't care what, what the circumstances look like. And, and the Bible tells us in Job, I, I love Job, Job 13, verse 15 and 16. Though He slay me, yet I will trust in Him. So you've got to trust Him with a life or death. You've got to trust Him. I mean, they were from, uh, Job went from riches to rags. Amen. But he said, I will still trust God. Hallelujah. But I will maintain my old way before. That's the secret, church. You've got to maintain your old way. In other words, you've got to keep on serving God, keep on worshiping God, keep on believing God, and keep on trusting God because God will see you through yes, and God will amen. come forth, amen, like gold. Oh, pray. I can't thank God enough. Amen. 
Amen. He said, I shall, and he also shall be my salvation. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 5, verse 11. Somebody needs this tonight. Maybe not here, but out there, but somebody needs Oh, you may have to remember tomorrow or the next day. Because this word won't go void. This, he gave me this message for a purpose, and I preach it. Amen. Amen. Psalm 511. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> now, I believe when you come to church, see, so you're, you're, battling the, you're battling the spirit and the flesh. Now, I don't mean to get in the flesh. You know, some people really get in the flesh. But sometimes you've got to override that flesh. Amen. Amen. You come to church and you, you're down and out. You feel bad. You've been sick and everything else. And you, you got, you've got a chip, chip on your shoulder and everything else. But you know what, church? If you just put all that at the altar Amen. and begin to worship God and oh, trust yeah. God and praise God, I'm here to tell you, you, will, you will come in that way, but you won't go that way. Amen. And you can face another tomorrow. Yeah. I said you can face another tomorrow. Yeah. I've done it, church. That's why I'm preaching that tonight. I've done it, been there, yeah. and thank God I know what it takes to get, to get over the hump. Yeah. I'll give them a hand. Thank God I got a, got a good friend spouse, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When I was down, she was up. When I was up, yeah. up she was down. That's right. And boy, if you get both of them up at the same time, you got something. That's right. Did I hear that, man? Amen. 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 I was saying, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. So we need to rejoice. Mm -hmm. Let them ever shout for joy. I believe in shout. Amen. 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 Some churches don't believe in shout, but I believe in shout. That's right. Amen. 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 It's amazing if they go to football games, baseball games, they're going to play shout, trying to play stuff, yeah. throw beer over the place. Right. I went to the football, baseball game one time, people were throwing beer all over the place. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I smelled like an alcohol for a while. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> they come to church. Praise God. Praise God. Worried about somebody watching anything. I don't know what you came to do. But I came to praise the Lord. Yes. I don't want you to take the night to shout and praise him and glory to God. And if they want to laugh at me, they can laugh at me. Yes. You know what, church? I'm pleasing God. Like David said, his wife got upset because he was shouting. Right. They've been following his mind. But you know what, church? She lost a lot of good things. Yes, yes. She lost her love. Can I hear an amen? Yes. Let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful with thee. Will the thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor? Will thou compass him as with a shield? God will bless us. Amen. With favor. Oh, I thank God tonight. I can show the love of God. Amen. 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 Let's just don't talk the love of God. Let's walk the love of God. Yes. Amen. 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 In closing tonight, I got one more thing. And that is, we need to show our commitment. That means we're bond we're, we're bond we're bonded to Christ. Amen. Amen. There's every time God's people need to be committed. Yes. Now. Amen. They need to be committed to Jesus. Amen. They need to be committed to, to, to the Word of God. They need to be committed to prayer. And they need to be committed to the church. Yes. Amen. Amen. I tell you, church, I believe with all my heart. If, if, even this church, I believe if people were, was, were committed, the church, this church house would be full and running over. Yes. Can I hear an amen? amen. I don't know how many people call me Pastor Magger, Pastor Magger, Sister Magger, Pastor Magger, and you, and, and you never see yourself put in the house of God. Right. Amen. Come on. I got two other some people called me. They, 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 most of them call me Pastor Matt. And I know some of them are all over the country, you know. They can't do it for some kids. But they know who to call on prayer. I said they know who to call on prayer. When they need something, they know who to call. Or text. Can I hear an amen? But I'm still saying I'm not only talking, I'm walking. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 37, verse 5, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. I tell you, there's nothing what God won't do for you Amen. if you're committed to God.
Commit your ways to God. Yes. Do what the Bible tells you. Yeah. Don't throw half the word away. But just keep the half. Take the whole Bible as it is. Right. And be committed to God. I said, if you don't have a good marriage, be a sister marriage. We all oh, we have ups and downs sometimes. I know some people say they don't argue with me. Let me tell you something. I don't think there's no more spiritual to be Sister Maggie. There is time we have disagreements. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen. But you know what? You've got to have love and you've got to be grown up about things. Amen. 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 And most times Sister Maggie, she, she, uh, she always tells tell me she's sorry. That's good. Whether That's she's right or whether I'm right. That's true. I mean, I'm sorry. That really gets you. Yeah. When you know that you should be apologizing to her, she apologized to you. Can I hear an amen? Yeah. She got more God than I have. Hello. Amen. And we sure don't let the sun go down. I don't think it's been very few times that I haven't reached over to kiss her and she hasn't reached over to kiss me. She goes to bed, she says, she needs to say good night. And I'll do the same thing. What are you trying to say? We've been doing this for 50, almost 55 years, right, Sister Maggard? So, but we're committed. Are you committed? If you want to have a good marriage, you got to be committed. If you want to have a good uh, uh, relationship with Jesus and God, be committed. And he'll bless you. It says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. That's what we're doing. I love that song, Sister Riley sings. While I'm waiting. Well, that just put, that put shield down there. Because I know what I, do what I love God. I said, well, I want to worship you. I want to praise you. I want him to be happy with you. Amen. Amen. Would you stand tonight? Church.